Okay guys, what I have here is a compound called thermite. This thermite is a little bit different from the other thermites, but because everybody's common perception of thermite is a reddish powder, which is made from iron oxide and aluminum powder. This is a little bit different. It's a copper, uh, cupric oxide, and a aluminum powder mix. Now, I'm filming this video to show you how dangerous this stuff is. Don't ever play with copper thermite. I'm not kidding. This stuff is extremely dangerous. It's explosive, unlike the regular thermite that you usually see, which flames up and creates molten metal. But this one explodes with a large amount of showery sparks. So, I'm just going to move the camera back about five feet not five uh, more like seven feet and I'll be back about 30 feet to show you and so I'm going to close all the doors check that no one's around and no one is so let's light this I'll be wearing ear protection in case it explodes and let's do this I'll be setting off in five, four, three, two, one. As you can see, it creates a thick brown cloud of copper dust, I believe. Let's wait for this to clear up. Well, let's see. Let's see what's happened to the... Well, it's pretty evident of what's happened in here. I don't want to touch this right now. It's probably very hot. But, it's pretty much... Uh, when you feel it, you can feel the heat coming out of it. And now, this copper mix isn't very powerful compared to the other mixes because this is very thinly mixed, about halfly mixed, and it's about half a teaspoon of aluminum to one full teaspoon of copper, which isn't the right ratio. So, if I mixed it with the right ratio, possibly the explosion could have been a lot worse, but... As you can see, the wires are pretty badly burnt, and so this is going to be pretty messy. Actually, it's already messy. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, my whole point is that don't mess with this stuff, okay? It's not a good thing to be burnt from because this stuff spews a lot of molten metal so stay safe and I'll see you later